Thank you. My name is Susan Schultz. I'm here on my own behalf. Uh, I, I am not a specialist in public uh, policy. However, I am an English professor, and I wanted to address some of the language that's being used in the bills and in support of the bills. One of the essays I teach in my courses at UH is George Orwell's Politics in the English Language, in which he argues that euphemism, especially in political speech and writing, are largely the defense of the indefensible. And when I read about these issues and what politicians are saying about them, for the most part, I find a defense of the indefensible. Let me pull out one quotation by Mayor Caldwell, which was published nationally in the New York Times on the 26th of June, and let, then let me have a little English professor moment with it. We haven't eliminated the visual impact of homelessness, Mr. Caldwell said. When visitors come here, they want to see their paradise. They don't want to see homeless people sleeping in parks or on sidewalks or on the beach. He's talking about the visual impact of homelessness, not on the homeless themselves, but on people from the outside who want to come here and they want to see what they want to see, which is paradise. So his emphasis for the New York Times was on outsiders coming in who do not want to see the homeless. Then, even better, he says, I want to do this in a constitutional way, a human way, but I want to do it. We need to do it. I call it compassionate disruption. We are not doing it without heart. I go to the Oxford English Dictionary, I look up compassionate. It means suffering for, suffering with, feeling the suffering of other people. I look up the word disruption. It says violent rendering, rending away. How are you supposed to combine compassion with disruption, especially for people who are homeless, which strikes me to be a rather profound disruption of one's life to begin with? So um, the, the bills themselves contain a lot of language which, which suggests that the homeless are unhealthy, but that what we really want is a healthy economy. So consider simply the use of the word health here. We want a healthy economy, and so we're gonna get rid of the homeless. But what I think is really at stake here is, as I think we all know, but we're not saying, is money. Behind the rhetoric of these bills in front of you, hidden, uh, besides the homeless themselves, what's being hidden is that this all is all about money. Who is to pay for the poorest among us? I gather it's the poorest among us who are supposed to pay a thousand dollar fine for breaking these proposed laws, and if they can't pay a thousand dollars, then they end up in prison anyway, and then we pay for their housing, but at least they aren't seen at that point. So let me just say in conclusion that if you're gonna pass these bills, please at least be honest in your language about them. What you're doing is you are proposing to protect businesses and sweep away real human beings because they are unsightly and have no resources. If you're gonna do this, at least announce what you're going to do. You're gonna be paying to house people in prison where visitors to paradise, to say nothing of anyone who can spend a million bucks to 20 million in condos in Kaka'ako cannot see them. You're privatizing blame and cost while our social contract is being used to exclude some to the benefit of others. Thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you for your testimony. Members, any questions for the testifier? <laughs> Not thank you.